Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today I wanna to show you my secret sauce to streamlining your home lab on Proxmox. So let's get started. Now, in case you missed it, I do have a video series that I'm working on with Proxmox, which I'll leave a link on the top right over here. And continuing from that series today, I'm gonna to show you a website called Proxmox Helper Script. Now, because Proxmox is actually based on Debian, which is a operating system a lot of people use, and it's easy to function around, we're able to actually create scripts to help build VMs or containers, or even sometimes just run programs directly off the Debian operating system. Now, the website I'm gonna show you actually has a collection of these scripts that will actually help you build these containers, VMs, or even install stuff to monitor or manage your Proxmox through the shell. So let's check it out. Now here we are on the desktop of my Proxmox install. You've probably seen this a few times already and the last video was about the NAS. Again, I'll leave a link right over here. The website I'm gonna show you, I'll leave a link down in the description below, is called Proxmox Helper Script. And in here, you basically could search for stuff that you need and it's a script that will actually help you install it as either EVM or LXT container. So to check this out, say we're gonna go over to Proxmox VE and if you wanted something to, hey, you upgraded your kernel multiple times and you wanted to clean it, instead of manually doing it, there's actually a script that you could just copy, paste, and it'll actually clean up all the stuff from your grub menu, delete all the cold kernels, uh, stuff like that. Uh, he also has a few other uh, stuff along the way for Proxmox tools like Monitor All or LXC Updater, which will actually update every single one of your uh, containers uh, and a bunch of other stuff. But let's say we're gonna jump in and install something. So I'm gonna go over to media and you can see he has a bunch of stuff over here. And we're gonna head over to sonar and he has a script here and also a description of what it is. Now, if you guys all worry about his script, you can actually head over to his GitHub, which you can tell everything gets updated so soon. Like this is updated two hours ago from making this video. Uh, we got stuff that's updated five days ago. So this is constantly being updated. And if you guys wanna support this creator, um, he has a support tab over here that will lead you to his Patreon. Now, I do wanna keep this script going forever because it's amazing. It has a lot of stuff in here, but to jump into it, say if I want to install something. Now there's a couple of menus here. Uh, the CT is what we're actually looking for, but the install script is actually the actual install. So I'm gonna go over to install and say, if I wanted to install something called Google, uh, I will have everything here down to the last script on how to install something, and even creating the service that will start up the program on boot up. So it has everything that you need. And I actually use this for reference a lot of the times when I'm unfamiliar with installing a specific program that I need on Proxmox. So this actually helps me a lot, even if I'm not just running his script. But back to running, say, Sonar, I'm gonna hit over here to copy, or you could just highlight it and copy it. Go over to your Proxmox and drop into the shell. So you get a Debian base over here. And all you have to do is just hit paste and hit enter. Now it's gonna go through all the menus for installing Sonar. So I'm gonna proceed with installing Sonar and give this, I don't know, a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is and your internet speed. And do you wanna use default settings? I usually hit yes because you can always change the settings later on if you want more CPU usage or RAM. While this is installing, I'm gonna show you what he means over here too. It actually tells you it's gonna default into using one gig of RAM, four gigabytes of storage, and only two virtual CPUs. And it'll actually give you the, uh, the port number that you need to attach it to. Anything goes here. If I want to install TDAR, TDAR is another one. He'll give you the port right over here, default RAM settings, etc., etc. So it's really cool how this helper script would just install everything that you need. And there's a bunch of stuff. I think I counted his scripts to be over 40 and it's even more than that i definitely know but this is his website has a lot of the stuff that you are looking for on his github anyway so head back over to proxmox and it'll actually tell you which storage you want to install it on which is going to be my nvme hit okay because that's where my containers will be stored and where i want my storage pool to be which will be zpool technically i could have installed that into nvme because it's only using eight gigabytes of storage jumping into his github again uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can see over here. Um, the CT, install, VMs, turnkey, miscellaneous, there's functions and stuff like that. So again, if you want to deep dive into some of the scripts or install it manually, you could do it through his uh, GitHub and kind of like just browse through the scripts. All right, say once you're done, you could see Sonar is coming up already right here. It's powering on, it's grabbing the IP address and give it a couple of more seconds. We already know it's uh, 105, 200. 
And there we have it. Once we're done, it'll actually pop in the URL that you need to go in, which you can always get later or go back to the site to find the port number. Say like Sonar, it's 8989. It'll say it right here. All I have to do is just go to this IP and this port and I should be able to access the Sonar. So HTTP, is it S? No, no S. HTTP 192.168.105.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.